Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can increase the strength of a very thin part uh, only by setting your slicer. Now, let's take a look in what I mean. For this uh, episode, I printed this box. It's a battery box uh, and you can slide in an LPE6 battery, which is a normal Canon camera battery. And uh, well, after you slide it in, it won't fall out. And this is because there is a small latch, which you can see over here. When I push that latch, I can slide out the battery and take it out. Now, as you can see, this latch is yeah only a few layers thick, and it has some mechanical strength in it. And this is yeah pretty much challenging to do, because uh, you, you have to make a few layers to have it real strong, but you want to make it as thin as possible. And here I can show you how I made it. It's, it's very very thin. Um, what I did is I changed something in my slicer to make sure that this is a very strong part of the whole card that I printed. Now I'm going to show you in the slicer what my settings are. So here we have the, the part as it's going to be printed. So first the outlines will be created and then it will start printing a diagonal fill for the bottom part. So this is the bottom layer which will be filled. After this first bottom layer the second layer will be printed on top of it and well first it's going to do the outlines and after it's done that as you can see it's printing diagonally the other way around. But now for the strength of this part I want even go further than that and this is I want to add some horizontal layers. So as you can see here it's going to fill horizontally. And this is great because now as you can see here the lines that are being printed, the solid lines of plastic are coming all the way from here to the end of the latch and they will go back and again to the end of the latch. So this is really going to make the print a whole lot stronger and also for the infill part here you can see that I'm not only printing uh, the diagonally lines which are 45 degrees and minus 45 degrees but also the horizontal and vertical lines. Now this means you have to do something in your slicer and you can see what I'm doing here. So this is the infill and this is both the internal infill and the external infill because the external infill this is what your bottom plates is uh, made of and then the internal infill this is what it's going uh, to be inside the print uh, and captured by the outsides. Now as you can see normally you have 45 degrees and minus 45 degrees here and also here 45 and minus 45. But what I did is I added 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So this is going to make that structural strength that you need for your part. And this makes it that only with a few layers of thickness, because I printed this also in 0 0.15 millimeters, that even with a few layers it's very very strong. And that's exactly what you want. So this is it for this episode. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like this video uh, because I'm making more and more videos every week. If you subscribe to me, please also hit that bell button. It's very important that you hit the bell button otherwise you won't be notified every time I make a new video. And of course if you want to support me well there are links in the description down below and you can see there how you can become a Patreon or how you can send a one-time donation. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye! Oh and guys I almost forgot to mention this but if you want to make this battery holder for yourself there is a link in the description down below where you can download it on my Thingiverse page. So I have a link for this battery holder in my Thingiverse page down below. Bye!